Timo Werner and Papesar came up with exquisite first-half finishes as Tottenham Hotspur upset Manchester City 2-1 to reach the EFL Cup quarterfinals in North London. Spurs boss Ange Postacoglu affirmed a few weeks ago that he always wins trophies in his second year in a job, and the Australian has taken a giant step towards ending Tottenham's 16-year drought, as Matthias Nunes's half-volley could not inspire a citizen's turnaround. While Tottenham's smash and grab win over Coventry City in the third round was very much on the unconvincing side, Postacoglu's charges immediately took the game by the scruff of the neck against a lackadaisical citizen's side. A sublime passing move out from the back allowed the hitherto profligate Werner to score his first goal of the season, and the hosts did not rest on their laurels after their surprise opener. Spurs were aided by Man City being completely off the boil, and one became two in wonderful fashion as Sar curled home a 30-yard stunner following a short corner routine, but that sweet strike finally seemed to wake the visitors up. Tottenham's mission to get to half-time with a two-goal lead ended in failure, as the increasingly influential Nunes pulled one back with a half-volley into the ground, no doubt changing the half-time team talks from both managers. Spurs would also have to cope without Mickey van de Ven for the second 45, the Dutchman was in tears as he was forced off in the opening period, and as expected, the second 45 was one-way traffic. The best chance of the second 45 fell to City youngster Nico O'Reilly, but Yves Bissouma produced an astonishing block to deny him, while Richarlison wasted a golden chance to make it three for the hosts after Jesko Guardiol's throw-in error. However, Spurs showed serious steel to keep Guardiola's men at bay for the entirety of the second half, ensuring that there would be no 2024-25 quadruple for the Premier League champions. A superb spirited performance saw Spurs inflict Manchester City's first defeat of the season in all competitions to reach the quarter-finals of the Carabao Cup on Wednesday evening. Timo Werner struck a fantastic early goal to give us the perfect start which was enhanced further thanks to an equally impressive finish from Pape Mudar Sar, before the visitors pulled one back on the stroke of half-time through Matthias Nunes. That could have led to a nervy second half but we continued to create the better chances with Werner, Brennan Johnson and Dejan Kolosevsky all spurning good opportunities. City's best chance of an equalizer came in the closing minutes, Nico O'Reilly's effort cleared off the line by Yves Bissouma as we held out to record another famous win over City at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Looking for a response after Sunday's disappointing defeat at Crystal Palace, Spurs were quickly out of the blocks and went ahead in the sixth minute through a lovely move from front to back. Archie Gray's ball down the right was flicked on by Johnson to release Kolosevsky and he played an early low ball across the box which Werner ran onto and drilled past Stefan Ortega. But Spurs' promising start was tempered by an early injury to Mickey van de Ven, who limped off in the 13th minute moments after a tackle on Savin Ho and was replaced by Destiny Udoji. However we shrugged off that setback and settled into the game again, adding a second with 28 minutes on the clock courtesy of a clever set-piece routine. Kolosevsky took a short corner to Werner and received the ball back, shaped to cross but then laid a pass out to Sar who curled magnificently into the bottom corner from 20 yards. City always looked dangerous on the attack and went close in the 38th minute when Nunes burst down the left but Phil Foden was unable to make contact with his low ball into the 6-yard box before the England midfielder sliced wide with a volley and hit a 20-yard free kick just over the bar. The pressure had been building and the visitors got their goal 4 minutes into first half stoppage time, Savin Ho getting to the byline down the right and his cross was turned in by Nunes at the far post. Having made a fast start to the first half, Spurs did so again after the restart and it needed a good low save from Ortega to keep out Johnson's right-footed drive three minutes in before Dominic Solanke's quick pass released Werner and he was through on goal only to hit a left-footed effort just wide of the far post. The chances kept coming too, Kolosevsky the next to bear down on goal but another fine stop from Ortega denied him. At the other end, City substitute Jacob Wright was just inches wide with a curling effort from the edge of the box as the game entered the final quarter before another glorious chance fell our way, Jesko Gvardiel's throw in into the City box missed by John Stones and Richard Lisson was onto to the ball in a flash but couldn't beat Ortega with his shot. We had a lucky escape just two minutes from time, 
a city corner into the box falling to O'Reilly 8 yards out and his shot was heading in but Bissouma was in the right place to clear off the line before Gvardiel headed over from the subsequent corner. The visitors piled everyone forwards in the dying seconds and had half chances, right curling wide and O'Reilly heading over, but we dug in and stood firm to book our place in the last eight. City exited the Carabao Cup following a 2-1 defeat away at Tottenham Hotspur. Goals from Timo Werner and Pape Mudar Sar put the hosts in control in this round four encounter in the capital. Mathias Nunes produced a fine finish in first half stoppage time, raising hopes of a comeback by Pep Guardiola's Blues but we couldn't find a leveller in the second period to force penalties. Despite the disappointment of defeat, there was a proud moment for Youth Cup winning captain Yame I. Simpson Pusey who came on for his senior debut, joining fellow graduates Nico O'Reilly, James McAtee, Rico Lewis and Jacob Wright on the pitch in the second half. Focus will now turn rapidly to the Premier League as we hit the road again to face Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium on Saturday. In terms of omens, an injury to Manuel Akinji in the warm-up perhaps set the scene for this Carabao Cup Round 4 defeat at Tottenham. He was replaced by Ruben Dias in the starting 11 but even our captain for the evening could do little to stop a strong scoring start for the hosts in the opening period. City may have enjoyed the lion's share of the possession here in the capital in that first 45 minutes but it was Tottenham who took their chances when they came. Akinji's injury ahead of kick-off was frustrating, especially at a time when Pep Guardiola has several stars in the treatment room already. And the evening got worse when Timo Werner gave the hosts the lead on six minutes, finishing confidently at the back post as he got to a pinpoint day on Kolosevsky cross ahead of Rico Lewis. Pape Mudarsar doubled Tottenham's advantage on 25 minutes as the Senegalese midfielder met a Kolosevsky cutback before unleashing a 20-yard effort that flew past Stefan Ortega Moreno. Ilkay Gundogan tried to reduce arrears just past the half-hour mark but his fizzing free kick from the left channel didn't dip enough to trouble Guglielmo Vicario in the Tottenham goal. Saban Ho showed his pace and grace on the left wing and played in a delicious ball that looked destined to find the foot of an onrushing Phil Foden but it sadly slipped past the England forward and away from danger. The Brazilian's curling strike from the right channel flew past Vicario's post on 39 minutes as his effort raised anxiety levels for the hosts. Those stress charts moved up another notch when Foden waited menacingly over a free kick from outside the box just before the break but when it came time to strike, his chipped effort was too high to reduce the arrears. The first step on a hope for a road to recovery came in the final minute of added time in that first half as Matthias Nunes finished wonderfully from a classy cutback into the box by the lively Savin Ho. There were changes for the visitors at the break as Diaz and Gundogan were replaced by Jisko Gvardiol and Matteo Kavakic, with boss Guardiola looking to make an impact from the bench. Tottenham came strongly out of the blocks again though, like they did in the first period, and Ortega Moreno had to be at his alert best to dive and keep out a powerful Brennan Johnson drive from the right channel. The home fans held their collective breaths as scorer Werner raced through on goal looking for his second of the night but after what seemed like an eternity, the 28-year-old German hammered his effort over the bar on 51 minutes. Moments later, Kolosevsky thought he'd scored when his angled stroke towards the far corner looked destined for the net but, again, Ortega Moreno showed his suppleness to claw it away. There was another change for the visitors just before the hour mark as Bernardo entered the action in place of Foden. And then agonizingly seconds later, Saban Ho fell to the floor in some discomfort, the silky smooth winger eventually stretchered off and replaced by Jacob Wright after a period of treatment. Wright came so close to leveling matters on 69 minutes when he sent a curling effort goalward but the fine effort just went past Vicario's post. The midfielder was joined on the pitch by Youth Cup winning captain Yame I. Simpson Pusey for his senior debut on 73 minutes as Guardiola again showed he's not afraid of blooding young talent from our flourishing academy. Tottenham could, and probably should have, extended their advantage on 83 minutes but Ortega Moreno denied Richarlison after a wayward throw-in from Vardiel found the Brazilian forward one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Vicario was in no man's land on 88 minutes as he failed to punch clear a corner and O'Reilly hammered goal wards only to see Eve Bissouma clear the effort off the line. The fourth official held up the board to indicate six minutes of added time, 
much to the consternation of the home fans, but City couldn't quite find that all-important equalizer, right going closest with a shot from outside the box which flew wide. City's involvement in the 2024-25 Carabao Cup is over as we now look to the Premier League, UEFA Champions League and FA Cup. We may have exited this competition but the schedule is still jam-packed with a tough away game at Bournemouth in the Premier League on Saturday followed by a midweek UCL encounter in Lisbon against Sporting on Tuesday. It's back to Premier League action now for Pep Guardiola's Blues. City head to Bournemouth on Saturday for a 1500 hours, UK, kick off at the Vitality Stadium. Thank you for watching this video.